So what do you think the major difference was tonight? The um, major problem. I mean, that made that made a lot of shots, and we didn't. And then uh, I thought uh, defensively we uh, we couldn't guard the ball at all. We couldn't contain the ball, so you know they were just able to you know do whatever they wanted. You guys have been so good on defense for the last few weeks. Just. What do you feel like caused the, maybe the issues? To well, it's one of those games. The, it's the NBA. You can't be perfect every single night. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, it's always bound to happen. Um, you know, and tonight it did. It did happen. So, you know, it's just time to go back and, you know, and learn from it. And so you did it just early on. It just seemed like in the beginning stuff y'all just seemed a little bit out of rhythm. Like not the way you guys normally play. Not really. We was up uh, nine two, and then they took a timeout. Don't know what changed after that. Uh, they just started being more aggressive offensively and defensively. Um, you know, for us, our offense. Uh, I thought we moved the ball pretty well. We just didn't make shots uh, at the right times, and uh, they were able to get uh, in transitions a lot. Uh, we've been better on that end when it comes to transition defense, but tonight uh, we were terrible, uh, so that took advantage of it. Doc is saying that this is one of those games that you kind of just have to wipe the slate clean and move on to the next one. At this point in your career, how easy is it for you to do that? Uh, so easy. I mean, that's why usually I'm pissed off about the losses. But tonight, you know, like I told the guys, even on the bench in the fourth quarter, you know, I was smiling uh, because, you know, it's one of these nights where, you know, they just made everything and uh, we couldn't make everything. We couldn't guard them. Um, you know, it was their night, and uh, you know, so you got to give them a lot of credit too. Obviously, that that loss, they had a bad loss against Toronto. So, when you coming in, that we're going to try to be extra aggressive, uh, and they did, and we weren't ready. Last year when we were in Memphis, you didn't get to play against John. I know you like to play against the best players in the league. So, what excites you about this opportunity on Friday? Uh, it's gonna be a man. Uh, try to get back on track. Try to get the win. Um, you know. Main thing is, you know, try to get healthier every single night. Uh, you know, myself and you know, as a team, uh, you know, just excited to go back and you know, show a different uh, side of us uh, than we saw tonight. Uh, because this wasn't us tonight. Uh, but like I said, it's the NBA long season. It happens, so you know, it's how do you bounce back? So we got to bounce back. Well, what, do you, what do you think some of the things you guys have to approve upon specifically in order to get a win? In? Well, it's just be more physical. Um, that, like I said, that, that made a lot of shots, but it's also because it was easy. Um, you know, that didn't feel us. Um, you know, they, they were just able to navigate through screens and, you know, one on one defense. We didn't contain the ball, so we got to do a better job of that. Uh, so I think, you know, it all goes back uh, to what I just said, you know, uh, defensively, just guarding our own men. And, um, you know, that's where defense starts. I know how much you obviously hey, study the rest of the league. Um, just what, what impresses you about Evan Mobley as kind of a young, up and coming? Big man. Oh, he's got a chance. Um, you know, he's uh, obviously he's on a good team. Um, you know, sometimes uh, he, you know, sometimes it's good to be on a good team when you you know when you start, and sometimes it's also good to be on a bad team uh, because you get to work on your game. Uh, I like him a lot. I think he has a lot of potential. I think you know he can really become. Uh, one of uh, these great big men in the league uh, that have so much skill. Um, I don't know. You talk about uh, who are the best? Uh, Jokic, um, you know, Carl Towns. Um, you know, I think 
it can be that good. Uh, it just needs to have uh, more opportunities, and that's what I see in them. So, like I said, um, it's all about opportunities, and I think you know if he gets them and he gets a chance to, you know, keep making mistakes and learning from it, and keep getting better, I think he can get to that level. But he's already really good. Uh, Play well today. Obviously, um, you know, uh, he made a couple shots today, uh, but you know, I like him a lot. Joel, uh, it seems like James coming back soon. Um, Is it? The reports are. Like that. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's uh, say he comes back soon. Um, you guys have got into the groove recently, especially defensively, and you on offense. And I know you and James spent a lot of time in the offseason sort of talking about how to get everything going together and working together. So how do you go about integrating him? into this thing while letting him do the things, you know, switching less, maybe, switching more on defense, maybe more pick and roll, and kind of keeping up the things that work with you. So. Um. We're not switching. Uh, you know, obviously we have a system in place. Uh, I think at the beginning of the year, uh, the mistake we made was uh, we tried to go one to five a lot, and you know we were okay doing it. Um, like I like I like I keep saying I can't do it, but like that's not just you know what I'm good at. I'm good, you know, being around the rim and protecting the rim. So we have a formula, and you know he's been you know since he's been here he's bought it into everything that we ask from them. Um, so uh, I don't know what the game plan is going to be. Um, but uh, what I know for a fact is that, you know, we're going to keep doing what, you know, brought us to the uh, point where we are, you know, top uh, three, uh, you know, defense in the league. Uh, but he's going to be fine. He's, you know, he's and, – and I think this year he's had a good – um, you know, he's been good on that end, uh, so I don't think he's going to be any, you know, problem or any adjustment. So, you know, I don't know when he's coming back, uh, but, you know, I'd be, you know, it'd be exciting to get him back. What about an offense also, same? I mean, again, you've, you play differently when he's not there versus when he is. So um, I mean, it's, I, we got to, like I always say, you know, obviously, um, you know, what people don't understand is that, when you look at, you know, when everybody's hurt, obviously new opportunities open up for everybody else. Everybody else gets to take more shots. Uh, they got more opportunities to make plays and shoot the ball. Um, so, but you know, when you got someone like him, he's such a good playmaker. You got to put the ball in his hands. So I think it's all about, you know, managing it. I think we've been playing at the at a good pace. Uh, you know, so we just gotta make sure to keep uh, the ball keeps moving, and you know we keep uh, kicking the ball ahead. Uh, and you know, even even before he got hurt, we were already doing it. And you know, for myself, <clears throat> I think. Um, well, my slow starts, I was still averaging 28. Uh, so, you know, there's not much difference between, you know, I started and obviously I've gone up to another to another level since. Um, I don't think it's going to change anything for me. Uh, I just got to be aggressive. Uh, you know, I, I, st- I got to look for the ball. I got to make plays for my teammates, uh, for myself. Uh, you know, I think, you know, part of, you know, the, the part of the ball moving, on offense, you know, kind of, you know, it's kind of like a lot on my shoulders um, because we play a lot out of delay. So it's really on me to make sure that, you know, the offense keeps moving, especially we keep playing side to side. So like I said, um, it's, you know, it's going to be fun. You know, I don't know when he's coming back, but uh, we need a lot of help. And, you know, he's one of our best players and, you know, and he's, he's so freaking good. So, you know, anything we can get at this point, we will get it. Similar Last question. To, similar to Gina's question, just because we know how much basketball you watch, what makes John Morant such an exciting opponent? Man, he can obviously uh, so freaking athletic. Uh, sometimes I think he's athletic for no reason. Uh, so he's hard to guard, um, especially when he's coming downhill. Uh, you know, attacking the rim, uh, you don't know what he's going to do because he's so quick. He got so much bounce. Uh, can dunk on you. He's got a Great floater, um, you know. This year he's shooting the ball well uh, from three, so no, it's gonna be a tough matchup. But you know, we like we got guys uh, 
you know, that likes to take on, you know, those type of matchups. I'm excited for the Anthony to be back. Um, I'm expecting him to uh, score 40 uh, against them uh, and to show them that they made a mistake trading, trading him away. So he's going to be fun. Thanks, Jeff.